Greetings! Today we're going to be taking a look at how to find your Windows product key and product ID. First, you're going to need the Windows machine that you will be finding the product key on. Next, you will also probably need some of the scripts or the, one of the download links in the video description. Let's get started. first method is a script that you will simply paste into command prompt. You will find that script under method number one in the description of this video. So go ahead and copy that and then go ahead and either press the Windows key on the bottom left part of your keyboard or click on the Windows logo in your bottom left part of the screen. This is going to open up the start menu and just go ahead and type in CMD which is the uh, abbreviation for command prompt. So go ahead and press enter to open up command prompt. And then you can go ahead and just simply right click to paste that copied code and then press enter. This will then should give you your product key. Most of the time this only works for BIOS product keys, which is the original key and the one that you'd want to use. However, if um, the product key is not stored in your BIOS, for instance, if you built the computer yourself or there is a different Windows installation than what was originally on the computer, then it may not give you this key. So. Let's move on to method two, if that did not work for you. Method two does involve downloading a piece of software, but it's a piece of software called PK Finder, it stands for Product Key Finder. It's an open source piece of software, which means that all the code and everything is uh, available to look at. And many people have looked this over and have not found anything. Um, and it's quite a popular piece of software with no problems ever being reported. So you can either use the link that will be under method number two in the video description, or we can go ahead and open up a web browser, type in PK Finder, and you're going to want to go to the link that is by CodeDead. CodeDead is the developer. We're going to go ahead and scroll down here, and we're going to want to download the installer. You can try the portable version. I wasn't able to get it to work, so I'm going to use the installer. Go ahead and click Save File. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and open that file. We're going to want to install this for all users. And go ahead and click Yes to install. We want to select English as that is my native language. We're going to accept the agreement. Um, we are going to click Next. We're going to um, put where you would like to install the program. I'm fine with the default location. And you can optionally create a desktop shortcut. I'm not going to. We're going to go ahead and click Install and I'm going to keep this box checked that says Launch PK Finder. All right, now this should give you your product key, and that is indeed my correct product key. If this doesn't work for you, um, there's several different probable causes. We'll go over those just a little bit later. If that didn't work for you for some reason, which there shouldn't be any reason that didn't, we're going to try a different piece of software. Method number three uses a program called ProtoKey. It's been around for quite some time, um, and Unfortunately, it was targeted by Microsoft a couple of years ago. Uh, Microsoft basically uh, made a warning in Windows Defender to try and keep people from using the piece of software. And unfortunately, it has worked for a lot of people, including uh, keeping off some uh, people in my previous video didn't, didn't like that they had to get past the firewall, which is totally understandable. So you can try the last method if you don't want to let Product Key through your firewall. But if you don't mind, this is my personal favorite piece of software. We're going to go ahead and you can use the official link that is in this video description, or you can go and type in Product Key. And I'm searching DuckDuckGo, it may come up with the correct one on Google, um, but I would just recommend typing in ProduKey NERSoft. There are a lot of fraudulent downloads on the internet, and unfortunately, many of them contain viruses, and uh, NERSoft is a developer anyway, so you're going to want to get the download from there. So we're going to go down here to download the product key scanner, the 64-bit version. Um, if you, for some reason, have a 32-bit installation of Windows, download the 32-bit version. Most people have 64-bit, so if you're unsure, just go ahead and download the 64-bit version. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this with Windows Explorer, and that way we don't have to install anything on the computer. And we're going to go ahead and double click on this application. We're going to click Run. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure both of these boxes are checked. And we're going to go OK. 
Now this should bring up several different product, product keys, and I'll explain that in just a moment. But to be able to see your product key, you're going to go over here to the top, expand this. Now obviously mine is blurred, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a minute as well, but um, uh, you also want to expand this product name so you can see what's what, and the scan. Um, I have a 4K monitor, so um, this may be uh, already expanded for you. So the product keys may be slightly different, and the reason for this is because if you have a pre-built computer or a laptop, the manufacturer, um, at least newer ones, they actually store the Windows product key in the BIOS. Now this is not likely to be the same if you were to build your own computer or to have a uh, another computer that maybe somebody built for you. Um, if you, but if you do have a computer from like HP or Dell or Acer or somebody like that, or a pre-built, meaning that you didn't build it yourself, there should be a BIOS key, and this is the one you're going to want to look for. Now, if you did not upgrade to Windows 10 from like Windows 8 or Windows 7, the product key in the BIOS should be the same as the one that is currently registered with Windows 10 or 11. However, if you upgraded um, from Windows 7 or 8, that Windows 7 or 8 key is going to be different from the Windows 10 key. And so if you want to register another version of Windows 10 or 11, you're going to need to have that original Windows 7 or 8 key. Um, and this is because when you register that Windows 7 or 8 key with Windows 10 or 11, it creates a new key. I had quite a lot of questions on my last two videos about that, um, and that's a main reason for why there might be differences in the different methods that we're trying, uh, because different methods are looking for different product keys in different places. So product key will pretty much give you all of them. Um, you also may be able to see that there are multiples of the same product key, and this is, has to do with the Windows storing the product key in multiple different places on your system, or from maybe a backup from an update or something. So um, if you did not want to allow product key through your firewall, which is understandable, we're going to go ahead and close this out, and we're going to use the last method. This last method is the one that was most popular in the first video that I released, and this involves pasting a script and creating um, basically your own really simple program. So we're going to go ahead and um, there is a link in the description which is just simply to a website which contains that script and we're going to go ahead and go there. Okay so now we're going to go ahead and highlight this which is just holding down your left button on your mouse and just moving your mouse down and we're going to go all the way down here to the bottom and make sure all that's copied and then we're going to go control C or right click and then go copy does the same thing control C is just the shortcut for that and then we're going to go ahead and press the Windows key on your keyboard or click on the Windows button in the bottom left of your screen we're going to go and type in notepad and then you're going to go control V or right click and go paste to paste that code into notepad. Now we're going to go up here to file, we're going to go save as, and then we're going to type in anything that you could possibly want to name it, except for it has to end in .vbs. This makes it an executable, um, which is what it needs to be. I'm going to name this um, product key dot, or just product dot vbs, I guess, um, and I'm saving this to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click save, and then we're going to go ahead and exit out this notepad. And as you can see, this appeared on my desktop. Now. You're going to want to double click on it and you should get your product name and your product ID and your installed key. That installed key is what you're going to want to enter into another installation if that's what you're trying to find or record or whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, and uh, that really should, one of those methods should have worked for you. Um, unfortunately, if it didn't, it's very possible that you are running a pirated version of Windows. So if you bought a used laptop from um, somebody or a used computer or something, um, unfortunately, it's very common to get a pirated version of Windows, which basically means that they removed all the stuff that would make it so you couldn't use Windows when it's unregistered, so you could use it when it's registered, but it's basically an illegal version of Windows, and there's no way to get that product key from that because it, there's no product key on there. Um, and I've seen a lot of people in the comments that unfortunately do have um, a fraudulent version of Windows or a pirated version of Windows, however you want to say that. So then the other part that I was wanting to talk about is it's very important that once you have your product key to not share it with anybody because if you, somebody else were to get that product key or you used it on more than another computer then um, it will deactivate that other version of Windows uh, or your old computer and activate the new one so uh, make sure like I said don't share it and then know that when you type in that product key into another computer it's going to deactivate your old one unfortunately that's just how it works otherwise uh, I hope that this video helped you and if it did please make sure to leave a like and press subscribe and I'm Ben this is tech to be discovered and I will see you in the next one.